Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Tax Academy, and in today's lesson we've got three example solos on the tune Dance Monkey. So these three example solos that you can try are broken down into three skill levels. The beginner version is available as a free PDF and that's available at onlinetaxacademy.com and the link to that is down below. When you're over at Online Tax Academy, just head over to the YouTube library and there you'll be able to get the free PDF. And premium members, of course, will get access to the beginner, intermediate and advanced level PDFs, along with the performance and backing tracks as well. For this beginner solo, I've moved it from the original key upper half step into E minor of alto saxes and A minor for tenor saxes. And that makes things a lot easier on the fingers as there's far less sharps and flats to worry about. For the beginner solo, I was mainly using the minor blues scale to improvise with. So for alto saxophones, that's these notes. And for tenor saxophone, that's these notes. Now along with that blues scale, for alto saxophones I was also including the note F sharp and for tenor saxophones that's the note B. That note's also featured a lot in the melody as well, so it's nice to use it in your solo as it kind of calls back to that familiar sound. So when you're going through this solo, have a look to see where and how I'm using that note and then you can have a go at using that to make up some of your own phrases using the blues scale and then including that note as well. As ever, when we're playing in this style of music and well, any style of music, the articulation is really, really important. So listen closely to how I'm playing the notes. Am I making them long? Am I making them short? And that's really gonna help bring out the sound of the solo. Okay, so here's the beginner version. Okay, so for the intermediate version, we're sticking in this slightly easier key of E minor for altos and A minor for tenors. And so we'll be improvising over the same set of chords. Now in this solo, along with using the blues scale, I was also using notes from what's called the natural minor. Sometimes it's referred to as the Aeolian mode. But when I'm improvising with this scale, I'm still primarily thinking of the minor pentatonic scale, which are these notes from within the natural minor. And then that second note and that sixth note are there to add color and add interesting passing notes. Another approach you can take is to start to really emphasize the chord tones for when you're on each of those four chords. If you learn those arpeggios and be able to run up and down them on sax to a bigger range as you feel comfortable with, then when you're improvising, you can emphasize those notes more when you're on that particular chord. Knowing these chord tones as well really helps you when you're looking at the example solo, as you can see which notes particularly I'm landing on at the beginning of bars, whether I'm I'm choosing to land on a chord tone or whether I'm choosing not to land on a chord tone and what kind of effect and sound that gives. If you're interested in learning how to improvise solos like this, then over at Online Sax Academy on the courses page, I have a learn to improvise course, which I'm building out. And this steps you through right from the very beginning, from the point of view of someone that's never learned to improvise before, all the way up to improvising over pop tunes and classic jazz standards. All right, so here's that example intermediate solo. Okay, so for the advanced version, we're gonna be going back into the original key of Dance Monkey, which is concert F sharp minor. Now that puts us into D sharp minor or E flat minor on alto sax and G sharp minor or A flat minor on tenor sax. For the PDF for alto sax, I've written this out with six sharps and for the tenor sax, it will have five sharps. As I find most sax players are more experienced reading with lots of sharps in a key signature rather than lots of flats. I'm using the same kinds of scales I was using in the intermediate version, but of course now it's in this new key 
key. So for alto sax, we've got the D sharp minor blue scale, or for tenor sax, that's the G sharp minor blue scale. I'm also using notes from that natural minor or Aeolian mode as well. And of course, as ever, it's really good to learn the chord tones that make up each of those four chords. And this really helps add some more structure to your lines and it gives you certain notes to emphasize and head towards when you're improvising. When you're reading this music, you'll see that we have something called E sharps, which is quite an unusual note. But basically E sharp is another way of saying just a normal F natural. The reason why it's spelt as E sharp and not as F natural is because in this music, we already have F sharps in the music. And so instead of having two kinds of F, you have one kind of E, E sharp, and one kind of F, F sharp. And this is pretty standard when you're playing music with lots of sharps. So it's a good thing to get used to. Okay, so here's that advanced version. That's it for this week. Remember to head to Online Tax Academy to get the free beginner PDF. And don't forget to head over to the memberships page where you can see everything else we have on offer. When you become a premium member, you'll have full access to absolutely everything that's on the site. So all the courses, all the premium content in the YouTube library. There's also a shared and a forum with loads of other useful things as well. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you next week.